Hi everybody, it's video two for Block Souls. Hope everybody thought of a theme um, between yesterday and today. I um, am gonna use this book, Eeyore's Happy Tale, as um, a basis for my game. As a video game designer, it's really important to stay on theme. So a lot of times larger companies um, give video game designers a theme that they want a game built after. So if there's a, a recent movie out, maybe Hello Kitty or something like that, then it's given to game designers to come up with a game to help promote their movie. So um, it's really important to research your theme, maybe read a book on it or do something like that. Um, do a Google search and find out some information to see what might your characters look like in your game, what your background might look like, what your opposing characters might look like. So um, a lot of research and development goes into game making. Here is the Black Souls platform. Today we are going to go into the builder part down here at the bottom. Okay. So it says games, characters, art, and background. Today we're going to learn about how to build a character. So go ahead and tap on characters. We're going to add a new character. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit about this platform. Up here in the corner, we have our colors. And down here at the bottom, we'll talk about idle, walk, jump, and fall. That's how we're going to animate our character using still frame animation. Um, we're able to test our character in a stimulate, stimulated game. And then you can start having fun. You can um, use those little pixel blocks to start designing your character and it will show you what it's going to look like a little less pixelated over here in the corner. So this is what my Eeyore or my my just let's call it character at this point because I'm not sure if it looks too much like an Eeyore um, looks like idle. Idle means completely it's not moving it's not doing anything. To add some animation to our game we need to um, make it look like it's walking, jumping, and falling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy by touching those little two pieces of paper, and I'm going to go to walk, and I'm going to paste it in there. So now I have it under my idle tab and on my walk tab. But as you see, there's nothing under my jump tab. So I need to paste it into my jump tab and paste it into my fall tab. So now I have my character in all three of these tabs. Again, idle is completely still, so I'm fine with it looking like that. Walk. What would it look like if my character was walking? So I would assume maybe his ears would flop around. If you had legs, maybe his legs would, one would disappear and then the other. So what you do is you add frames down here. So if you push this little plus button, you'll see now I have three still frames down at the bottom. And we have to change something in each one of those frames. So you can play around with this. The eraser is right here up in the corner with the colors. Um, maybe I'll just change one ear. And then you can see what happens on that frame. So it goes from frame one to frame two. And then in this corner, it shows you what that looks like. And then in frame three, maybe I will get rid of this ear. So then it kind of looks... Nope, oh, I forgot to add frames, see? So um, I'm gonna add a frame and go back to this frame and then paste my original picture. So I have my original picture and then in this picture I, I have his hair erased and then in this picture I might wanna move him up. So now his hair blinks and he moves up and down and you can see that in here in the corner. So what you're gonna do is you're going to do still frames for not idle, because idle is completely, completely still, but you're gonna but you're gonna add frames for walking, jumping, and then what would Eeyore look like if he fell over? And I would have to decide on that, and I would add frames, and maybe I would just turn them completely upside down by using these arrows over here. <clears throat> and I can slow that down, because again, Eeyore moves really slow. Okay, and then after I do that, I can test it. And I can see, I'm gonna to try to play this game backwards, um, what my character looks like. Oh, I just fell into some water, which is okay. You can swim through water. Yep, 
you can see what the character looks like. If your character blinks, that means that you do not have one of the tabs filled out down here. I hope that helps and have fun today building your characters. If you want to add another one, what you do is you tap up here, then you can fill this whole thing up with characters. Um, you probably want to have at least one main character and an enemy or an um, opposing person in your story or theme. Um, so have fun with it. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Talk to you soon. Bye.